What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to the Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, game between Wolves and Leicester and Molyneux. Um, absolutely brilliant day at the office for uh, for bro both uh, both attacks, but both defences, um, both defences not so. <laughs> um, um, absolute cracker of a game, obviously. Um, four three for the second time in a row. Um, second time in a row, obviously being with with the uh, other meeting at Monu being four three back in two thousand and three as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, uh, brilliant game. Um, and it all uh, and it all started um through a Diego Jota goal. Uh, who obviously eventually got a hat trick in the end. Um, we started the game really well. Uh, Ru Ruben Neves uh, almost pulling off um, an absolute wonder goal once again. Um, uh, but then just a, a couple of minutes later, after that, uh, we did um, go on and get the first goal and go in front uh, through Diogo Jota. Um, brilliant crossing, and uh, Diogo Jota just got ahead of his man, and um, that was it. Really, it was one nil, and we started the game really, really positively. Um, we created um a few good chances early on, uh, and about ten minutes later, uh, well, about eight minutes later, uh, in fact, um, Ryan Bennett scored his first goal since Bristol City. And we got off to an absolute flow. We were 2-0 up um, within just over 10 minutes. Uh, and it was just a perfect start, really. An absolutely perfect start. Couldn't have really asked for a better start, really. Um, you know, obviously, Claude Puel um, under um, a lot of pressure at the moment uh, at Leicester. Despite them being 7th in the league, obviously, um, maybe a few fans... Um, disliking uh, the way he's playing, um, playing uh, possibly a bit too defensive, and, obvi and obviously those two goals would have put him under immense pressure if he wasn't already on under enough pressure. He would have been under extreme pressure after uh, after the start Leicester made. But credit to Leicester, they st they they stuck with it. Um, they stuck with it and tried to stay in the game, uh, and they did. They did very well. They created a few good chances, even though we were two 0 up. It could have be easily been. It could have easily been two two. Um, Rui Patricio, normally uh, one of the shining lights in 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 the in the squad. Normally one of the saving graces uh, in the squad. Maybe when when we're not playing particularly particularly well, uh, he saves us with some. Uh, outstanding saves, um, and um, and he and he's picked us up a few points this season uh, because of his um, out outstanding athleticism and just all round brilliant saves in general. But it was a bad day at the office for him, um, and it was he had an absolute shocker uh, really early on, and he could have cost us a goal uh, because. Uh, well, what what I saw of it was um, he was it looked like he was doing a a Cruyff turn, and uh, in the end, J Jamie Vardy, really really quick player, um, obviously, and he latched onto it really really quickly, and he was under immense pressure as soon as Jamie Vardy started running towards, uh, because. You don't want to be a goalkeeper and make a mistake when Jamie Vardy's near you because he will put you under immense pressure with the, s the speed and the agility he has. Um, and he seriously could have got cost us a goal and it could have Leicester could have been back in the game just like that. And that was really about only, I'd say, about... Well, not even, it wasn't even 2 0 then, probably. I think it was only 1 0. It could have been level. Leicester could have got level due to Ruby Patricio's mistake. And again, um, 
I think he was from he was from a uh, a goal kick and he uh, kicked it out of his hand uh, and he went went straight to a Leicester player. Uh, I think it was Damari Gray um, or something like that. And again, those those, those mistakes could have cost us massively uh, in the game. Could have seriously cost us. Um, but but we were lucky. Um, Ruben Trucio did make up for the, those errors by making a really good save uh, from a Damari Gray shot. Um, decent strike and a really good save made up for the uh, two earlier errors uh, that could have cost us uh, a goal or two. Um, and then Leicester did what exactly we did to them uh, at the, the start of the first half. Um, they, they did exactly the same to, to us at the start of the second. They came out um, all guns blazing, uh, probably having an app. Absolute rollicking um, from uh, Claude Puel um, at half time in the dressing room. Um, so they, they came out all guns, all guns blazing, and then Damari Gray uh, got them off to the perfect start in the second half by putting uh, putting the score back to 2 1 and getting them back in the game, which is probably, to be honest, what they what did deserve really because they, they, they had a few chances uh, to potentially. Hold the game back to two one or even two two, um, and they were just, I guess they were a little bit unfortunate in the first half not to score uh, at least a goal. Um, but in the second half, um, we weren't switched on at the start of the second half, um, and Leicester uh, made us pay for that. Uh, Damari Gray putting the back in the game, and luckily the second goal came off Connor Cody because it would have been. Um, it would have been a, a bit bad, really, um, if 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 I had scored in who he um who's most recently played for. But um, yeah, back back at two two, um, within a matter of moments of the second half, beginning uh, about ten minutes, five or ten minutes into the second half, it was back at two two, and I guess we had to start all over again. We had to start all over again, um, as as I guess we were at nil nil. We had to start all over again. It was back at two two, and we did respond. We we responded well. We we still kept on going, and we kept on going. And um, can I say for the third goal, for the third goal, what a pass, Ruben Nevers. Uh, what a pass from Ruben Evans to the third goal to make it three two. Um, Di- um, what what a pass, brilliant pass. Um, and Diogo Jota uh, took it down brilliantly uh, and passed passed Kasper Schmeichel um, for three two. Um, and we will keep that lead uh, until uh, right until the very end, where Wes Morgan, ironically. Um, Ironically, scored when he was uh, when he was struggling at the other end, um, trying to to defend against <laughs> to defend against the goals, and ironically, he scored one himself. Um, so, yeah, he 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 was one of the Leicester players who had had, a, had quite a mare, um, especially probably the whole the. Def- that's the defence had on there. Um, at, at that, at, in in that in that game, and yeah, um, he pulled it back to three three. You know, eighty seventh minute pulled it back to three three. And normally in a game, you'd think three three, eighty seventh minute. Well, in a normal game. Probably wouldn't be three three, but in a normal game, eighty seventh minute equaliser. Um, you'd think, yeah, well, this is probably going to turn out into a draw now. But this that's just not the case in this type of game. It it's it's been end to end all game. Um, it's just been uh, pulled back to three three. 
Uh, it's an end-to-end -end game. It's just not going to end 3-3. There is another goal in this in the next few uh, in the last few minutes of this game. There just is another goal in this. You can't see this ending as a draw. Um, and there was <laughs> there was um, uh, again for the fourth goal. Poor Leicester defending. Um, brilliant pass by Ruben Nevers again. Um, Jimenez, um, lovely weighted, um, uh, low cross, um, straight to Jota, who had all the time in the world, really, and uh, he just had to, um, uh, be composed in front of goal, which he was, he took, he took it, um, cool, calm, and collectively, um, as I say, and brilliant finish, brilliant finish, and obviously, at the end, you know, getting a bit uh, over exuberant um, <laughs> at the end, um, which forced him to get sent to the stands for the final like 30 odd seconds <laughs> of the game. So, there wasn't really much point really of him getting sent to the stands. But anyway, if you <laughs> anyway, um, if you did enjoy this um, match review, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you. Um, in a couple of days with the ninth episode of the Wolves Career Mode. Until then, goodbye guys!